Okay, let's take a look at how to implement the content flow um, script and all that. So I've got open here my uh, HTML page, and of course this could be in PHP or ASP or anything else as well. But there's a couple of important things here, and you'll see that I've got the code commented. Um, we need to make sure that we have this script tag located uh, somewhere in the head area of the code. And you also want to take a look at the source right here. This source, which is content flow slash content flow dot js, corresponds to the um, directory or folder structure that I have it set up in. So in other words, this is the uh, HTML page we're looking at now, and we're telling it look into the content flow directory and look for the JavaScript. Uh, code in there. So if for some reason you change this from content flow to anything else, then of course you want to make sure that you change the source right here. Of course, code's not going to work. Now, I left in the third and fourth instances of content flow that I created and went ahead and left in my comment lines. Um, again, you can take out the comment lines in your actual code if you want to. And of course, see here, I noted that you must have this uh, script tag up in the head as well. Now, I put this in a div tag and set the div width to 860 pixels. And that forces the content flow to stay inside that div tag. And so that's how I'm forcing it to the 860 pixel width. Otherwise, it would fill up the entire page or at least the uh, entire area of the page that it's on. Now, if you look down here, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we go down here and we just need these image tags, okay? And inside the image tag, we can go ahead and put in the uh, uh, href for the link to the appropriate pre uh, page, and that's when you click on the image in the content flow, this is the page that that uh, is going to take you to when you click on it. And then uh, more importantly, we want to make sure that our source here uh, corresponds to the actual image. So as you can see in the sample here, underneath the index page, I have this DH content 2 folder. And inside there, of course, are the images. And so you just want to make sure that these correspond to it. And then, of course, notice in the sample that I did for you and all that, uh, there are a couple of GIF images there. And so you want to make sure that you have the correct extension for it. The uh, title tag right here corresponds to what shows underneath the actual image itself. So, for instance, um, let's see here. As a matter of fact, I think, yeah. So, like right here, like travel and weather, uh, events, bundle of joy, uh, mega library, baseball, etc. Those all correspond to these title tags for the individual deals. And if you want to add more images, all you do is you just put in another line and a simple copy and paste. Uh, you know, it's usually quicker unless you just feel like hand typing it. And so we're going to do a copy and paste. And then, of course, you would change your href, your source to correspond to the appropriate image, and then change your title. Now, if we scroll down and we look at the fourth instance, we've got a little change here. We have an additional script tag. And so what I did was created a new object and called it no reflection. All right. And we said zero reflection height. And uh, we're leaving the circular flow at false. That's straight from his code. And then, again, I have this contained inside an 860 um, pixel uh, div tag. And notice right here, this is important. Um, when we start our class right here, we need to give it an ID of no reflection. And that corresponds to here. So as an example, if you wanted to put another instance of this on the page, then you would need to come in and name it, uh, you know, you could copy and paste this code and name it no reflection 2 and then when you came down to your ID, then you would have no reflection 2 here as well. All right? And then you're pretty much down to the same thing. Um, we're listing our images, our hyperlinks, href tags, of course the correct source for the pictures and then as well as the title tags. And that's pretty much it. Um, again, I've got this uh, commented fairly well. So for instance, you could take from the um, beginning here and go down to the end and copy and paste this if you wanted to do a new instance. Um, again, in this case, you would do a new uh, ID for it, um, new object for it. 
Um, if you were just going to use this one here, which has the reflections and all that, then you could simply copy from here and copy and paste this, and then, of course, change your appropriate things. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.